Hi, I'm Max Walker-Williams and today I have the honour and privilege of explaining exactly what Hadira Hashcraft is in an easy and simple way to understand for my hero, my dad. So I'm from Swansea, South Wales originally and my father follows me on the YouTubes obviously, watches my stuff and he rung me very recently and said, what the hell is this uh, Hadira Hashcraft then? So this is me it's trying to explain Hadira Hashcraft to my 84 year old hero and father. So here we go, let's jump straight into it. Okay, Dad, so Hashcraft explained. So all cryptocurrencies are basically, when you boil them down to their simplest form, are a record of account. So whether that be, imagine them as a giant book uh, and the, you record things in the book like a ledger. The information you store could be a bank transaction, uh, a payment, transferring money, buying a Mars bar, or it could be an action or a movement in a game, shooting a gun or whatever. And you want to store that information on a ledger in real time. Now, generally speaking, you want the record of account to be three main things. You want it to be efficient, so you don't want it to use a lot of uh, electricity uh, and fuel, like for example, Ethereum, which if you, if you mint an NFT or if you, if you write something in the book, if you do something on the blockchain, it can uh, use up to the same equivalent energy of a, th of a petrol car driving a thousand kilometers for one transaction. So for example, if you're in an auction and the auction is online and it's on the Ethereum platform, so that the, the record of account for that auction is on the Ethereum platform, every single person who bids is burning a thousand uh, kilometers worth of petrol in a car. So it's not very efficient. So you need it to be efficient. You want it to be fair. So unlike Bitcoin, for example, which is very unfair, it, it, it punishes the poor and it rewards the rich. How does it do that? The more powerful your computer, the more chance you have of putting the information on the blockchain. You want it to be fair and you also want it to be trustworthy. So you want to know that if you look back at the information, that it's correct, that it's, it's been recorded efficiently, fairly, and it's trustworthy so that it can't be hacked or, or, or broken into or manipulated. Okay, so those are the three things that we're aiming for. And obviously the more efficient, the more fair, and the more trustworthy it is, the better the project. I hope this is a really uh, uh, easy way to understand the project. And if you get this, you will fall in love with Hadira Hashgraph and the pure, beautiful simplicity of it and the genius of Lehman Bird. So let me explain, okay. So we have people, but they're computers. Uh, Max, Sue, Laura, John, Jack, Sam, and they're the computers, okay. And this is actually the Hashgraph, but we'll, we'll come back to that, don't worry. Okay, so the fairest way of, of having anything decided is by voting. So everybody agrees by vote. So voting for consensus is the fairest way to agree. Also the most secure. No one computer shuts down the network, but it's very slow. So if for example, you said, okay, all of these guys are gonna send, inf all of these computers are gonna send information to this computer and this computer will make the decision of what happened and in what order, who bidded on the online auction and in what order and at what amount. The problem with that is that if this chap is under attack, gets attacked, it's only one computer you have to pull down and the whole system fails. It's also a dictatorship. So some people, like in a real dictatorship, will disagree with the political opinions, or the votes in this case, of, of the king, of the, of the emperor. And so it can be very unfair. So <clears throat> a democracy voting is the fairest way, but there's a problem with that because this is only six computers. But across a network, there might be 100,000 computers, for example. So it takes a long time for everyone's vote to come in on every transaction. And the more transactions there are on the network, i.e. if it's not just one auction running, uh, but it, there's thousands of auctions and thousands of people bidding in each auction, <clears throat> excuse me, there's millions of transactions taking place at once, and it slows the network right down while it counts everyone's vote. It's very, very uh, time intensive. It's very slow. Voting means trust, everyone agrees, and what happened and when. So, like, it's not just fair, it's trustworthy. Because everybody agrees, there's no one person who disagrees, everybody agrees that this is what happened and when it happened and in what order, which is very important. Because if the stock market were to be run on a, uh, on a cryptocurrency platform, 
and you bid for some shares or you uh, bet on a horse or anything, you need to know that you did that first. You bid on the auction just before the time ran out and you, you, you got that bid in there and it was more than the next guy. Or if two people bid at the same time, at the, sorry, at the, for the same amount, you bid slightly first because it can't be exact same time. So you bid first and therefore you won. It's too slow a process and too energy intensive. So as I've already said, this is the voting system is the best system for a record of account, okay? For the computers to vote, everyone to agree, and then we record it. Um, and we vote on what happened and in what order. But the problem with this is that it's very, very slow. So, so nobody uses it, nobody uses the voting because it's too slow. So they do other things like having the one computer decide everything for everybody, the emperor and the king. So what's genius about Hadira Hashgraph is that it's solved this problem. So this is the most trustworthy, it's the most fair, but it's not efficient. So how do we deal with the efficiency? What's the answer? Okay. So the answer, two words, gossip protocol. What is gossip protocol? So gossip protocol is telling everybody information. It's gossiping like in an office where people gossip or you know, in school or whatever, it's where gossip. And gossip spreads quick because it compounds. So you have two computers that have information that exchange. They tell two computers who tell two computers. And it goes two, four, eight. I'm sure you've seen this in school or compounding interest. Two, four, eight. By 10 steps, so by the time 10 um, gossips have taken place, a thousand people know. By the time you get to 20 steps along the information being shared, a million people know. Within just 30 steps of the information being shared, a billion people know. So it only takes for 30 steps of doubling for the entire network of a billion computers to know the information. Okay, so that's great. So that does away with the efficiency, with the time. So now it's really quick. But the problem with this, with gossip protocol, is that you're just spreading information. It's just gossip. So if I said to you, if Max said that John bought a Mars bar off Jack, it's gossip, okay? So I tell Sue that John bought a Mars bar off Jack, and I tell Laura, and Sue tells Laura, and Laura tells Sam, and Sam tells Jack, and so on and so forth. But it's just information, right? It's just a message, okay? Fast, but just information not in order and not consensus. So there's been no voting, right? So no, no, it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone agrees with this piece of information. Um, and also uh, it's fast, but it's not consensus. And also it's not in order. It's just information with gossip protocol. So not just the info you know, but we swap info we know each other don't have, plus who I heard it from and at what time. So what that means is, so we'll do the gossip protocol. So we'll, we'll do the two, four, eight, ten, and then a billion in 30 steps. But I'm not just going to tell you the information I know. I'm going to tell you the information I know and have just witnessed, but I'm also going to tell you any information I know you don't know. And you tell me any information that I don't know. But I'm also just going to attach a little bit more information and tell you who I heard it from and at what time. And in doing that, in doing that very simple thing there, now, everybody knows what everybody knows, and everybody knows what everybody knows. So it's gossip about gossip. Now stick with me, okay? So we all know voting is the fairest way, but to count all the votes is very, very slow, okay? And this is the genius, right, get this. So how would you fix this problem? So we've got over here, we've got gossip protocol, where in a second, it's only 30 steps and a billion people know a piece of information. They don't just know the, that, that one piece of information. Attached to that piece of information is who I learned that off and at what time. So then that person knows what I know, but they also know that Steve knows because he knows that I've learned it from Steve. So Steve, therefore Steve must know and so on and so forth. And also what time I learned about it and what time Steve learned about it. So we have all of this information spreading super, super quick, efficient. We have a voting system that's fair and trustworthy. But how do we merge the two? And this is the genius. You don't need to vote. Voting is slow. But if everybody knows what everybody else knows, you don't need to vote. Because I know how you'd vote. I know what you would say. So if Max knows what John knows, and John knows what Jack knows, and Jack knows what Laura knows, and Laura knows what Jack knows that John knows, 
And Sam knows that Laura knows that Jack knows that John knows. And Sue knows that John knows that Sam knows that Jack knows. Everybody knows what everybody knows at all times. So if everybody knows what everybody else knows, I know, Max knows how John, Jack, Laura, Sam and Sue would vote. Because I know what they know. I know what they're thinking at any one point in time. Because I know what they know. So we don't need to stand there and count the votes. So imagine at, a, at a, uh, an election in the UK or, or in America, Trump versus whatever, or, 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 or you know, uh, David Cameron versus the you know, Labour Conservative. They wouldn't need to hold a vote. If they could mind read everybody in the country, they'd just stand there and think about it for a second and say, yeah, Labour have won. Because, and we didn't need to have a vote. Because I know what everyone's gonna do. Because I know what everyone knows. And that's the genius of it. The simplicity. So we don't have an emperor, a king, a ruler. We have the most accurate and fair Byzantine proof uh, uh, system of consensus, which is voting. But we've taken away the time consuming voting counting part, which in like an election takes weeks and weeks and a recount and blah, blah, blah. Take all that away because of gossip protocol. You put those two very simple things, voting and gossip pro protocol together, you don't need to vote because everyone knows what everyone knows. It's gossip about gossip. And that is the beautiful simplicity of Hadira Hashgraf. And that is why Hadira Hashgraf is one day gonna run the world. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, Dad. See you soon.